South Africa confronts difficult public policy challenges. How to give greater impetus to growth while broadening economic participation and improving the distribution of incomes and opportunities. The Winter School is an opportunity to cast a spotlight on some aspects of the economic policy and development challenges while drawing on experience from elsewhere and reviewing key principles of public economics and policy analysis. The Winter School will bring together graduate students from many of our universities and several countries and young economists in the Treasury and other departments. We hope we can encourage enthusiasm about public economics while debating some of our most difficult and pressing challenges. This is an opportunity for students to meet with Treasury officials and talk about uh, some of the pressing policy and research challenges that, uh, that we face in, uh, in South Africa today, but it's also about just contributing to the development of public economics as a discipline in our universities. Uh, we're providing a, a week-long program to students uh, to uh, spend time with some of the best academics in the field, some of our best economists, several international visitors, some of our senior officials uh, and others who are working in government on issues of the day. What made me uh, apply for the public school? I wanted a platform that was going to help me get in more insight into public economics in South Africa, which is one of the most uh, key areas that needs to be looked at at this point in time in South Africa to foster economic development. In many cases uh, at the university level, it's very difficult for students to, to connect and understand what the public service is all about and how it's relevant to what they are studying. Uh, and I think there's a need that there is that, that connection. We had the Deputy Governor of the Reserve Bank, uh, Mr. Kuben. He gave a very informative presentation on the relationship between macroeconomic policy and industrial policy. And he spoke about how fiscal policy and monetary policy affect or impact on the industry in terms of imports and exports. He touched on exchange rates. I see young people who are energetic, who are showing some passion about the things that they do, the subject knowledge. But I see an opportunity for them to uh, be able to, uh, for the platform that's created by the Winter School, for them to be able to join government. I think there's no other better opportunity for them to know and relate what they learn in class with what you do as practitioners. I think this is a good opportunity and it's something that I think at all times will be supported. This kind of has kind of opened their eyes so that they realize that there is much bigger you know, purpose that government is and there's opportunity for the young minds to actually come and make a difference and better inform how government approaches some of the solutions that it needs uh, to bring about development. I applied for the Public Economics Winter School because it looked like a fantastic opportunity to network and engage with people involved in the Treasury and also to learn about the diverse range of issues that are pertinent to the economy. You know, often at Varsity you learn about issues you know, in one go, you know, so you'll learn about tax in one module and then you'll move to a separate module. And I really like the idea that over the course of the week we're going to get a chance to engage with one issue in particular and then at the end we can learn from our peers in the final day on Friday. This is partly about the Treasury looking after its own long-term interest. This is partly about the Treasury investing in the next generation of economists, uh, but also in, uh, it's also about forging partnerships with our universities, uh, partnerships that are, that are about research, about supporting uh, more focused uh, work on the economic policy and social development challenges we face, uh, and partnerships in strengthening public economics as an academic discipline, but an applied academic discipline, uh, and one that needs to be engaged with the issues of the day. I can see students benefiting a lot from, from this experience. Moving on indeed to our keynote speaker. He is Professor Mtuli Nube, holds a PhD in economics uh, from the University of Cambridge. I was given a topic uh, that I should speak about institutions and their role in public policy design and, uh, and how that impacts on growth and, and development. 
I think the most important benefit that I attained was the fact that I was able to understand how economic theory can be applied in terms of solving economic issues that we have. So basically, when I came here, I'm a student that has a lot of theory, right? So when I came here, I was able to understand that, okay, the theory that I've attained can able to apply it and use it in terms of coming up with better solutions for the economy. We have to make these moral choices with insufficient information. So I saw in a number of the presentations, we were told what, what people in universities always say, there's insufficient data, we need more data. And it's true and it's good that we try and have an evidence-based approach to po policy. But almost always when we come to make the choices, uh, the uncertainties are much larger than the certainties, which we will have to resolve in the next couple of years, probably in the next year or two. By the end of the day, I'm accepting to, to get more insight about public economics in South Africa. Like, for example, I, I got to learn about the need for uh, designing new policies in agriculture. This venture, which is an important initiative, will begin to pay dividends uh, not only to yourselves as the current generation of young people who want to make a difference, I hope, uh, in not just public economics, but in public life more generally, because I'm sure somebody here wants to be Minister of Finance, somebody here wants to be the President, somebody here wants to uh, truly be a people's representative in our democratic parliament as we go forward. I was hoping to learn more about this government and how it works and also just more about health reform. And I think that was mostly meant. I, I learned a lot about health. Work opportunities and work experience in Treasury is the start of a career. It's a greatly exciting opportunity to work if you, even if you end up in, uh, 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 as a tax analyst in Santon, if you learnt uh, uh, the job working in SARS or in the Treasury, you're going to make you, you, you're going to be ahead of your peers. My expectations were definitely met. I chose the industrial theme as my first choice because I didn't know much about it. Um, a lot of learning. You'll learn a lot, GTSC. Insightful, inspiring, and knowledgeable. Very informative. Um, gained a lot of knowledge, and it was an amazing platform.